Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video. This time, I wanted to talk about the five best structure decks to get in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So, you know, as, as I mentioned before, I'm a free-to-play player. Um, I have to go budget, you know, with these decks. And I've tried most of the structure decks. Um, I, I don't know too much about uh, the Rage of Cypher, the Galaxy Eyes um, structure deck, but I do know a lot about all of the other ones. So let's talk about the structure decks and, I, and I'll tell you which ones are the best and I'll show you my builds of them as well. So uh, the, the best structure decks in my opinion, um, so there's 11 structure decks right now. Um, and I think six of them, I, I said top five, I think six of them are worth your gems. You know, 1500 gems, you, you buy three of these structure decks, I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, pretty good deal just to start out. Um, so the top six, right, I, I said top five, top six are uh, Vortex of Magic, which is your Dark Magician, uh, Immortal Glory, which is your zombie deck. Uh, Black Wings Pride, which is your Black Wings structure deck, so that's three. Uh, Cybernetic Successor, which is your Cyber Dragons, four. Um, Burning Spirits is Salaman Great, that's five. Oh wow, I'm actually going to go to seven. <laughs> uh, because we're going to go to Dragon Maids, which is my favorite structure deck because I started with this one back in like last August last year I started with this uh, it's it's a lot of fun and I will even say Magician of Pendulum um, if you're into Pendulum monsters um, so I, I have builds uh, in my deck list for all of these um, so let me show you what they come with and then I'll show you how my deck list looks. We'll, we'll break it down like that. So, Dark Magician. Um, this is this is honestly one of the better ones. I, I only bought two because I had a few of the cards already. Um, but it comes with pretty much every like out of the box. This is probably one of the best uh, decks to buy because you know you get three of these and you have. You know, Dark Magician, Magician Souls, Chronicle Magician isn't as great, Illusion of Chaos is awesome. So you get so many URs for your value, um, it's totally worth, uh, And you know, if, if you like Dark Magician, right? If you don't like Dark Magician, then it's kind of pointless. Um, but if you're into Dark Magician, you know, it has Dark Magician Girl, um, you know, these are our rarities, so they're easy to craft. Um, it has some of the fusions, which are Quintet Magician, which is harder to make. Um, Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, Master of Chaos, the Dark Magicians. Th these are these two URs are pretty good. Um, and you have some of the SRs, included Magical Circle, Magician Salvation, Magicalized Fusion, which is always nice. Piercing the Darkness is is okay. So you know it comes with a lot of good expensive cards. Um, so I would highly recommend uh, getting this deck. So yeah, I'll show you my deck list a little later. Let's let's get into the next one. So zombies, zombies is also another one that has great value because it comes with a, a few good URs that could definitely start you off, you know, whatever path of zombies you want to go. Because zombies, there's so many archetypes like Shirinui. Um, you know, just general zombies, there's Eldlich, there's Vendrid, there's uh, Mayakashi, there's like so many different ways you could build zombies. Um, but you know, this comes, if you buy three of these, you get three Uni zombies, Scape Ghost doesn't really apply for this deck, Glow Bloom is pretty good, um, Mizuki is, is standard in all zombie, zombie builds, so is Gazuki. Necroll Banshee to, to search your zombie world. Chang Chi, the Sparato, that's a pretty good card. Um, you know, these are all rare, so they're 
no, in rares and normal, so they're easy to craft. Uh, but you get Zombie World for free, which is nice. For free, I say, you know, it's included in the pack. Uh, Necroize, is, uh, Necronize is pretty good. Zombie Reborn is pretty good. Um, I don't really use this Overdone Burial. Um, and some of these are pretty good too. Uh, Skeletal Dragon is, is a nice monster, boss monster, and so is Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. So this is nice to get started. Um, you know, Al Ghul, Mazera, which is a great card. Plague Spreader Zombie, luckily they're rares. Um, Jack of Bolan. I'll show you my build um, after this. But if you're into zombies, this this will get you started. Like for 1,500 gems. And then you just gotta, you know, pull on the packs for the cards that you want. Um, it's pretty good. So Cyber Dragons. Um, they're pretty good. Um, it's just that... Um, it's just that um, you you would have to pull a decent amount on the um, on the secret pack, like the additional secret pack to make it work. Um, I'll show you what I mean in in a few minutes after we get through these structure decks. But basically, you know, there's there's Cyber Dragon Core, which is a great card. Cannon, if you run the Cyber Dark version, you know these these cards are for the Cyber Dark version. Um, Cyber Emergency, which is great. Uh, Horizon, which isn't too bad. And Realm, you know, for the Cyberdoc versions, right? Um, no one really uses uh, Rebirth Judgment um, or Power Wall, so these are kind of pointless cards. Um, but in the extra deck, you get Cyber and Dragon, which is okay. Cyber Dark and Dragon, which is good for Cyber Dark builds. Twin Dragon, it's okay. Uh, Cyber Darkness uh, Dragon, which is which is decent for Cyber Dark builds as well. So, I, as I said, like this, you know, Cyber Dragons in general are pretty decent, but you would need to invest a few more gems. Um, I'd say like two to four thousand gems to make this deck work by pulling on the Secret Pack, which which I can show you. Um, Galaxy Eyes, we're not talking about because this is not a, a, a good structure deck. It's not, it's not really worth your time. Um, Black Wings, another one that is definitely um, definitely worth your time um, if if you're into Black Wings, right? Um, so you know, unfortunately, if you you just started playing Master Duel, you will not get black black wing armor full armor master for free because that was for free a few months ago um, so unfortunately you won't get that but you will get a uh, black wing assault dragon uh, armed wing which no one really uses Borea storm which is part of the build and black wind dragon which is part of the build um, so yeah, look, look at this this is filled with URs and SRs you get Sharangar uh, Vata, which is like part of the new support, which is a great card. Zephros, you get Sudri, no one really uses Vayu. Gale is a, an okay card, and so is Steam. But Shamal is good. Simoon is the starter. And you have a bunch of rares. You also have the, the, the Whirlwinds. You have Black Whirlwind, Feather Whirlwind, which is part of the you know, standard combo. You get Twin Shadow. Uh, no one really uses uh, Trap Stun or a Karis Attack. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is definitely worth This is a great place to get started. Another deck, just like Dark Magician, if you're into Black Wings, uh, you buy three copies of this and you're basically good to go. Um, you don't need too much outside investment. I, I could show you my build, it's pretty budget. Um, Salamangrates, also another awesome choice, uh, because, you know, out of, it's just playable out of the box, basically. You know, three structure decks. Um, look at this. You get Sunlight Wolf, Heat Leo. I, I don't know why it shows two Heat Leos here. <laughs> they should have 
they should have gave you another UR because you're gonna buy three of these anyway. So that's kind of. But you know, you get Heat Soul for free. Um, you get Silent Mining, which is like the greatest you know investment for this deck. Like if you're into Cyber decks, you know er every Cyber deck runs this. Marincess, Code Talkers, uh, Attic Nister, er everyone runs Silent Mining. So this is definitely worth it. Um, if you're in Cyber decks, um, no one plays this card, but uh, in Silent Migrate, you play Buffer Low, Gazelle, Spinny. Uh, Balance of Lord is a questionable card, but maybe for other builds. Lady Debug is played. No one plays this or this. Um, oh, you get Silent Migrate Sanctuary, and you get Roar. So, you know, the other ones are easy to craft because they're normals. Uh, but this is a great way to get started. I, I can show you my build. Uh, it's also pretty budget. Um, Spellbook. Do not get. <laughs> it is not worth it. Uh, Dragon Maid. So, I will recommend this deck. It's, it's, not, it's not the best right out of the box, but it's pretty decent. Um, you know, you can get started with this. You know, you get... Dragon Maid House, Xiao, Hieratic Seal, you get uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal, Samsara Dragon, Kitchen, Chamber, well Kitchen isn't even that great of a card. You get Chamber, uh, the rest of these are rares and normals that you don't, you know, that are easy to craft. Uh, Dragon's Mirror is okay. Dragon Shrine is pretty good, especially if you're, if you're into like Dragon decks, this is a great card. Return of the Dragon Lords, like if you're into, you know, like Blue Eyes decks. Uh, Hospitality is a good card. Uh, and the rest are, you know, rares and normals. I could definitely show you the build, my build for this deck. I, I've, you know, invested some gems into my build uh, because I really liked it. So my build is a little, you know, less budget, but I tried to make this deck work, you know, because I liked it so much. And the other good investment is uh, Pendulum Magicians. Um, so the structure deck doesn't really have everything you need. Um, so you will still need to spend some gems to make it work. Um, you know, Perform of Pal Pendulum Sorcerer is pretty decent. Adai's Pendulum, this has an animation, but it's not that great of a card. Wisdom Eye Magician is a good card. You run three of this. Skull Acrobat, you run three of this. Odd Ice Phantom is not really good in um, Magician Pendulum decks. Um, let me see. I mean, these are all rares and normals. Sky Raris is okay. You know, you, you run one of these uh, if you want. Pendulum Call is okay to start with. You could run two. Duelist Alliance, you could run a two or three. Uh, Spiral Flame Strike um, is not the best. Um, neither is Pendulum Paradox or Wavering Eyes or these uh, trap cards. I mean, I guess if you like Heavy Storm Duster, right? <laughs> um, and neither of these are good, but you do run at least one uh, Time Star Magician. So, you know, Pendulum Magicians in general are good. Uh, if you're willing to invest some gems, like I said, another like two to four thousand gems to get you started. Um, in addition to the fifteen hundred you'd spend on this structure deck to get the three copies of like Skull Acrobat and um, Wisdom Eye and um, a few of the others in here that are rares and normals. Um, I can show you my build for this. Pendulum Missions is one of my favorite decks. Uh, in this game and this is an okay deck but not worth um, playing in this game so yeah I'll show you my deck builds for these decks so let's start with uh, black wings and you know my deck is still a work in progress because um, I still don't have all the extra deck cards like uh, nothing um, I'll show you what that is. Oh. Alright. 
It is... Not these. Ah, here we go. Blackwing, nothing to Starlight. This is part of the basic combo because it gives you an additional normal summon. Um, I'm kind of cheating around this because I run uh, the double summon card. It doesn't always work. I, you know, my build's kind of budget. It's not the best. Um, and this is what I mean, the secret pack. So how do you access secret packs? So basically, um, you could either craft a UR card or an SR card that's part of the, the pack. Like for example, this one. Like, you know, you spend some of your SR points and you generate the card. And that's how you obtain, um, you know, Blackwing. Then you, you open this pack and then you could spend gems on it. Um, 100 gems for one pack or you should usually do, you know, 1,000 gems to guarantee an SR. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's that's how you do it. I mean, this this is my build. Um, I've taken it from, a, you know, other Black Wings players, either on Master Duel Meta or on YouTube. Um, you know, it could use some refinement, but, you know, as you can see, you put in the three Vatas, which is from the structure, three Sudris from the structure, three uh, Blackwing Assaults from the structure. I run two Boreas Storm. Um, so the additional like URs and SRs, um, Grapha is not necessary. I, I got this free from a poll, um, so I included it because you can make it with Muddy Mud Dragon, um, Cybers Quantum. I, I picked up so so in Black Wings you want dark um, synchros. Well, you dark anything, dark links, dark synchros, dark X Y Zs. That's because that's what you want to run because you get uh, dark locked. Uh, I don't know which card does it. I believe it's Vata, uh, but you get dark locked with this deck. So extra deck can only be dark monsters. So um, Chidori is okay. Um, you know, I'll probably sub this out for nothing. The uh, you know, jeez, not nothing. This card. Uh, nothing to Starlight. Um, Blackwing Dragon, you could probably run two of these. This is kind of like a starter. Um, so, you know, if your combo gets interrupted, you can make this on the next turn. Uh, Berserker the Tenyi, I made this when I was building um, my Tenyi Sword Soul deck. Uh, it's a great addition to this deck. Uh, as I said, you get this for free a few months ago, so if you didn't, uh, you'd have to craft this. This is like the basic boss monster of this deck. Um, unaffected by other card effects. Awesome card. Baron de Fleur. You don't generally make this on the first turn, but you know on the second turn you can make this. So it's 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 a pretty good investment. Um, Chaos Angel I got from a pack. It's pretty decent. It it makes your monster is indestructible. Um, but you know, not necessary. And then you got Raid Raptor. I, I, I got this, you know, from a pull, so I just included it because these are all, you know, wing beast monsters. Um, I also included two beast deals, uh, which are always great if, if you can get these cards. Uh, with the beast seal meta. Um, I threw in two kaijus, uh, harpies, which you get for free. Um, an allure I threw in to, for draw power. Uh, this was part of the structure. So yeah, that, that's basically all I added. Um, so there's Blackwings. Uh, I hope to make a Blackwing video soon. Uh, I'm just not the greatest at this deck yet. Alright, so uh, we could take a look at my Dark Magician Girls profile. I, I'd have to dig to find my... Um, my actual Dark Magician deck, but it's it's basically the same as this. It's basically very similar. Um, as you can see, the extra deck is filled with UR and SR cards uh, that I've gotten through other packs. Um, what are the cards I recommend? Um, these you all get from the pack. 
Sorry. Stardust Dragon I got earlier. Um, I run this with uh, Starlight Road. It's pretty decent to protect your back row from Harpy's Feathers Duster or like, you know, your main monsters from like Raigeki or something. Um, but, you know, you, it's not necessary. Galaxy Tomahawk, I did not craft. I, I got this from a pack. Uh, it's just a fun little card. You definitely don't need it. Uh, Ebon High Magician, I got this from a Legacy Pack, and I recommend you get it. It's, it's It has pretty good effects. The Special Summon uh, a Dark Spellcaster from your deck. Um, Artemis is good to recycle the Magician's Rod, so I, I recommend you craft that for this deck. IP is okay. Just another link to go into, um, especially since I'm not running Nightmare Unicorn for some reason in this deck. But if you're running IP, you should run something to go into, like... Um, I, I guess you could do Black Luster Soldier. Um, but, you know, Unicorn or Crusader Abramax are the, the typical plays. Selene is to recycle your spellcasters. Appaloosa, you don't really go in... But basically, okay, so what else did I add? Um, I would get a third Soul Servant, so definitely get the third uh, Dark Magician Structure for a third Soul Servant. Um, Call by the Graves is Anti-Hand Trap. Uh, Super Poly um, is just good in general. Even though, interestingly, I'm not running Super Poly targets. My build is a little scuffed right now, guys. <laughs> it's like, what am I doing here? Um, all right, let's let's put this back. All right. Uh, Wonder Wand you get from the structure. Oh, you might get this from the spell book. Yes, I got this from the spell book structure. So, if you do invest in that, it is a nice it is a nice one to get. Uh, Fusion Employment is nice because you could search out... Okay, so that's why I'm running um, these cards. Because you could search out Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, and Special Summon it. But then you're locked into Fusions. Um, card of Fate is just a funny card I have in this deck. Totally useless. Do not include this card. Spell of Knowledge is from Spellbooks. If you have the Spellbook structure, you should include that. And Secrets. <laughs> And probably um, Magician of Prophecy. Um, these two cards are terrible, so do not include them. <laughs> uh, this is from the structure. Castira I got from the pack, so why not? I included it. This is like a level 7 deck. Uh, Tamias is from the packs. Nibiru is from the um, bundle. Definitely get that. Um, I crafted the prep of rights, so yeah, you should craft. One or two of these. Um, one is from one of these ashes from the bundle. The other one I crafted. Um, and yeah, I didn't add any of the cards. My magician, dark magician deck is probably not the best. Um, this definitely needs some refinement. But yeah, this is basically my build. Um, all right, what is next? Ah, Pendulum Magicians. This one I put some work into as well. So I can show you what I crafted or added, you know, whatever into this deck. Um, I'm running Kurikara. Am I running a Kaiju? I am running a Kaiju. It's iffy. Kurikara is, you know, like a brick, but it definitely helps going second. Um, I run it. I don't know if you should like Nibiru might, you know, help you more in the long run. Excuse me, but it's a consideration. Um, harp, uh, tuning magician is crafted. Oh no, it, it is from the structure. Okay. Um, so Kurikara is not necessary. Hoppier, I run with um, Horus, so that's a nice combination that I haven't tried out too much, but I just added it. It's a new tech, um, so you could try it out if you want. 
Um, Ash Blossoms, I spoke about. Hand Traps, definitely should run. Kaiju, I run in this deck. You don't have to. I just end up going second a lot. Um, Performer Pals from the structure. Wisdom Eyes from the structure. Luster Pendulum runs well with um, Ignister Prominence. Um, because you could summon this and then special summon this. Uh, but the only problem is you cannot um, synchro with this besides Draco Slayer uh, monsters. So it's not the best card to to summon off of Ignister Prominence. You could probably find a better card to, to summon off of that. But this is an SR, so that's why I included it. And it also pops your scales. So that helps. Uh, Skull Bat is part of the pack. This is a rare double iris I crafted. Highly recommend three of. Uh, I recommend three black fangs. I crafted it. White Wing is iffy. I crafted it because it's a tuner, but it's not the best. Um, purple Poison. Um, I guess the advantage of White Wing is it's considered a, a dragon synchro as well. So maybe it helps with summoning, I don't know, the, the other dragon synchros. But it's not the best in this deck. Uh, definitely three purple poison. This is one of the best cards in the deck because when it's destroyed by card effect, uh, you can destroy a card on the field. So that's always a nice additional effect. The Abyss Actor I crafted, but it's a rare. Uh, you definitely run one or two of these. Um, this I got for free, I believe, from a poll or one of those uh, packs earlier in the year. It's a nice card. Definitely recommend for this deck. It's not necessary. Stargazer is iffy, but it's it's a low scale, so I just run it. Oaf Dragon's pretty good to get uh, Baron de Flor, which I highly recommend for this deck. Chronograph is great, definitely recommend. Astrograph is awesome, and you have to craft this. Oh no! Yeah, you have to craft this. Sorry, this is the secret pack. Um. Odd Eyes Dissolver is great to make um, Odd Eyes Vortex, so that's always nice. I may end up cutting Odd Eyes Absolute, because how many 7s do I really run? Yeah, I could cut this. And I could put back... Um, what was the card I cut to put in... Um, Mr. Problems. There was a card I cut to put that in there, but I just can't recall what it was. Nightmare Unicorn. Yeah. So there you go. Um my build is pretty good I'm um, like if you could make this pendulum magician build you can really go far um, I don't play that much but you know I hang around like in silver and gold silver in the beginning of the season gold at the end of the season I mean I'm I'm always too lazy to make the push up for platinum I think I'm gonna do it this season uh, and grind it out because you basically need three wins in each gold um is it gold i believe you need three wins in each gold ranking to advance to platinum so i'm a little lazy to do that because i only play like two three games a night so you're not always guaranteed to rank up but if you learn this deck oh man you could go far uh and it's and it's not it's not too expensive i mean the extra deck is pretty much all yours but you know you could build that over time um anyway getting off track this is from the structure these two are currently in the pack the secret pack that's out rage of chaos so if you can get them otherwise craft them and and you need like an additional one or two of these because 
they kind of work together. Um, but yeah, if you could get this into your Pendulum deck, it really helps going second. Um, call by Anti Hand Trap. Um, Supreme King to copy uh, Electromite. So those two cards are pretty good. Horus, I spoke about, it's a new tech. Like Mr. Promise is pretty good. Um, Savage is always great if you can make it. Tenyi is my favorite synchro. Um, Barone is awesome. This is from the pack. You gotta craft that. You, get, you definitely have to craft Beyond the Pendulum. It's, it's awesome for this deck. Nightmare Unicorn is pretty good. It's not the best. Celine, you typically always make, so definitely craft this. Appaloosa, you can make more often than not, so craft that. Access Code, you definitely need. And Underworld Goddess, I always run because what if, you know, they have an unaffected, you know, monster or something. All right, so that's Pendulum Magicians. What else we got here? Dragon Maids. Okay. So I've spiced up my Dragon Maids deck a bit uh, to include Dragoonity cards uh, because... You know, let's face it, we, we all love Dragon Maids, but it's basically normal summon, and if you get ashed or negated, it's normal summon pass. So, to avoid that, I've added some, you know, I've added this Dragoonity engine, which is basically Dragoonity Remus, searches Dragon Ravine, and then you get this whole combo with uh, uh, Dragon, Dragoonity Knight Gaydurg. And you're you're able to put up a crystal wing synchro, um, or crystal wing synchro and boral load savage, depending on what's in your hand, uh, before you even get to the uh, dragon maid place. So you could potentially end on crystal wing, boral load savage, uh, dragon maid Xiao, and maybe a hieratic seal. So you know most. Um, Dragon Maid players and on like like a good hand is Xiao and Seals but a good hand with this is like Seals and Xiao with a bad hand and Crystal Wing you know Xiao and Seals and then if you have a really good hand you get Savage or maybe even Baron de Floor if you're not Dragon Locked that turn right so um, I added Borland. You don't need it in this deck. I just like to throw it in. Um, the seals are free. Striker, I crafted. You don't. You could just run two pisties for this deck. The, the R Raider rarity uh, level four lower dragon, but um, I just had it, so I included it um, because they have a nice combo with um, Jagunir Unite Romulus to bring back a dragon. Um, which I can't really show right now, but I believe I have it in one of my videos. Um, Atom is awesome because you could summon this with uh, Gaydurg and Dragoonity Arma Mistalane. So you put those two together, you get Atom, and then you could special summon um, Red Eyes Darkness Metal. And that can, you know, get you either Rocker Tracer or Dragon Maid. Um, it's just like a combo starter, you know? Um, Crystal Wing, I highly recommend you, can, you craft if, if you're going for the Dragoonity build. Uh, these two you get for free. Uh, in Perms, I run in this deck. I mean, you know, I'm running this at 45 with the hand traps. So maybe you could cut something like in Perm, but it's always nice to see it, right? Um, this deck can obviously occasionally brick with uh, 45 cards. But, you know, what deck doesn't break, right? Um, I'm, ru I'm running a little um, Dragon Shine engine with uh, Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. I could potentially cut this because, you know, you could also just run Dragon Shrine with um, Absarauder Dragon. Um, and this gets your um, uh, Dragon Link plays going because this can add um, Rocket Tracer to your hand. Um, but that's going a little off topic. 
but basically, um, Samsara is part of the structure deck. I crafted this as I mentioned. It's not the best card, but you can add it. Uh, these are ours. I crafted all three of these. Highly recommend. Got two hand traps. Beastial hand trap. This is part of the Dragoonity combo. This is part of the, the structure. This I crafted because I like having an extra tuner for Borload Savage. Uh, Zephros is part of the Dragoonity combo. These are part of the pack. This I crafted. This I crafted. Kaijus are, you know, optional. This is part of the pack. This I crafted. Awesome card. Uh, it's like an extender. Um, so, so, you know. It's not really necessary. I just like the card. Um, hospitality is part of the pack. Changeover, you probably only need one of these, but I just like running an extra. Um, Glow searches um, Dragoonity cards like Mistletane and Armagram. You need three. Well, I run three Dragon Ravines. I, I was usually running two originally, but it just helps you have three of these. You have three of these, better chances of, of getting to Ravine and getting to the Dragoonity plays. Um, and yeah, that's Dragon Maids. I mean, you know, as I said, you could play this pure, run more traps, run more hand traps, uh, board breakers, but, you know, more often than not, like when you get to the higher ranks, it's just going to be your first turn play is going to get interrupted and you're just going to end up, you know, best case you know seals pass worst case you know like uh parlor or chamber on the field and then you know you set like a card or two and it's like not the best starting play but yeah that is uh dragon mates this is my zombie deck uh still could use some work uh the the best card that i'm missing is Baldurak. Um, let me see if I can show it to you. Right, this card. Awesome card. Um, so if you're really into zombies, definitely get this card. This card is a monster. The other card that I'm missing is a zombie vampire. Which can be splashed into other decks as well. So it's not it's not a bad investment to to get this card. Um, where is it? This one. If you use a monster from from your opponent, then you can treat it as level eight. So it's like you could steal the opponent's monsters to make this. Um, so it's pretty cool, uh, pretty cool card. Uh, but I'm running a Shirinui version, so it's pretty cheap because you get the Shirinui structure deck from the um, solo mode. Excuse me. So that's like another way to, to run this deck. But I'm running so few out of archetype SR and URs in this deck. Um, this I crafted. This is from the other structure. This is from the other structure, I believe. Yes. Solo mode structure, see? Um, this is from the zombie structure. One I crafted, one is from the pack. These are from the pack. This is from the Shirinui structure. So yeah, this is basically just a mishmash of Shirinui structure and from the solo mode and the zombie structure. I, I, ha I haven't really added that many cards. May maybe we can look in the extra deck. Uh, this I crafted, this is from solo mode. This is from solo mode. One of these is from the bundles. The other one I crafted. These I crafted. This I crafted. This is from the structure. 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 One is from the bundle. One I crafted. Um, this is from the structure. Yep. Um, this is from the structure. Maybe? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, I crafted this, crafted this, crafted this, this is from the structure, crafted this, structure, craft, craft, and craft. Bombi, uh, jeez, 
vampire fascinator and sucker you could replace. It's just good to have like an extension in case you get interrupted. Um, but zombies have so many choices in terms of uh, extra deck, main deck. There's just so many ways to play them. Um, so yeah, I will not say this is the best way to play zombies. This this deck could use a lot of work. So there you go. Very budget uh, version of uh, zombies through the structures. All right, Cyber Dragons, as I said, uh, you would need to invest some gems to make this work because there is a decent amount of um, non-structured cards like Cyber Dragon Infinity, I crafted this. Um, these are from the structure. These are Super Poly targets, which I crafted. Oh, sorry. This is Super Poly target. Chimeratech, Rampage. You should probably run two of these. To be honest, this is such an awesome card. Um, you know, instead of two Chimeric Fortress, you should run two Chimeratech Rampage. Unfortunately, you gotta craft this. Um, this is from this Seeker Pack. Uh, Garura I got for free. This is just a Super Poly target. This is for free. I should probably get rid of this card, to be honest. Um, you only need one of these, to be honest. I just, you know, Cyber Dragons are a little expensive, so it's it's hard to include. It's hard to fill up a structure deck without using some of these cheap ones. Uh, Starving Van Infusion is a super poly target. This, where is this from? Oh, this is from the Secret Pack. It's pretty decent. I, I wouldn't say it's the best. Uh, this is from the structure. This one I got from the, um, sorry, secret pack. And it's definitely worth crafting, uh, because you could steal any extra monster zone monster. All you need is a cyber dragon, um, on the field. So this is really good, really good card. These are staples. This you get for free. Yeah, from the, from the bundle. Um, this is from the structure. I crafted this, crafted this, crafted these. Change of heart I crafted. Ibiru, you know, you can include it if you want. Um, I should honestly probably just cut this out because I already have too many cards in this deck. Um, these are all from the structure. I'm running a little cyber dark package because I, I, I like running that it's it's probably not ideal you could probably cut all these out <laughs> these uh cyber dark cards um to make your build more efficient so yeah my cyber dragon deck could use some work uh theory and cards that engine is the best with this uh, that is really my next investment for this deck um i guess you could run no you don't have level lights in this deck um, but Theron King is the best card to throw in this deck um, because you can you can special summon using any machine monster which is what cyber dragons are so you get a free Omni Negate um, and you could search no you cannot I thought you could search this with a cyber emergency but you cannot um, so yeah that is uh, cyber dragons uh, pretty expensive uh, but it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. Um, is that all of them? Oh, Salaman Greats. Salaman Greats, um, the extra deck, you know, could always use some improvement, but the main deck, you're basically just running uh, hand traps, uh, which I have a decent amount, and board breakers, which I'm running. I'm running a little math mech engine, which you don't need at the start. But, you know, this is mainly the structure deck. Like, you got three gazelles, spinny, lady debug, sigma I got from the other math mech pack. This is from the structure. These, you know, one of these I crafted. One is from the, the bundle. This is from the structure structures. 
Um, I crafted these, but these are not necessary. You could just run three bay lengths. Uh, you need an update jammer. You could run three sunlight wolf, maybe if you want. IP Masquerade is pretty good. Splash Mage is good. Nightmare Unicorn is good to include. Transcode is necessary. Um, got one Heat Leo. I guess you could run two. Uh, you only really need one Heat Soul. Uh, you need an Access Code Talker, and this I just include because I hate losing to unaffected monsters. So yeah, uh, this is mainly the structure deck. So great investment. And that's about it. I mean, you know, as I said, I have a ton of deck profiles <laughs> to go through, but I just wanted to to get through the structure decks. Uh, I did build some of the other structure decks. I could go through it in another video, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the.